guys my name is ankush gaurav and i welcome you to gone to series in this tutorial we will learn what is tomcat apache server as well as what is http protocol so let's start guys when we say we want to develop a servlet application what do we really mean by that well we only mean that uh, we want to create an application which would allow any human being to basically interact with it through a standard browser like google chrome internet explorer etc you know the way we access google.com gonto.org or any other website using any standard browser same way so this is the overall workflow what we expect our servlet application to follow when it is ready a user is going to make use of a standard browser to make a request to our servlet application and then our application will simply process the request with whatever logic has been written in it and then is going to send a response message back to the client so this is what we expect our application to basically follow when it is ready now an interesting point what you should note down over here is a servlet application in itself is actually not capable of listening to or responding to a user's request a servlet application is not more than some bunch of java files that's all about it when we say we have developed a servlet application we actually mean that we have uh, created some java files and that's all about it sometimes we call these java files as servlet files as well so when these java files are not capable of listening to or responding to a user's request then how do we make them to actually do so well for this we take help of an external software which is very popularly known with the name web server a web server is a program which uh, is capable of listening to and responding to a user's request that's all about it so what we do we get a web server program we install that in our computer we put our servlet application into it and then this is how it works a client is going to make a request to the web server web server is going to make use of the logic what server has been written in the servlet application to process the request and then whatever message our servlet application wants to send to the client as a response it sends it to the web server and web server in turn send it to the client this is how it works so a web server program simply adds a feature to your existing servlet application to be able to listen to and respond to a user's request and that's all about it now a question arises which web server program you should use well in market there are a lot of web server programs available some are freely available and some are paid ones if you want to make use of freely available web server then i suggest go about using tomcat apache web server with your servlet application it's not only free but at the same time it's uh, one of the very popular web server programs available these days so simply go to the apache tomcat website download this server in your computer and uh, use it along with your servlet application to allow it to listen to and uh, respond to any user's request guys now that we have understood uh, what is tomcat apache server all about it's a turn off http protocol so what it's all about guys in real life when two persons communicate with each other how do they communicate to have effective communication between them well both persons follow certain common set of rules and regulations like if both speak english then both need to follow common english grammar set of rules if they are not following this in that case their communication may not be effective what one person is going to speak other person may not be able to understand that fully and what other person is going to speak first person may not be able to understand fully so in real life to have effective communication between two persons we always suggest that uh, both need to follow common set of rules and regulations in the same way when two softwares communicate with each other on the web they also need to follow certain common rules to have effective communication between them 
Now, there are different set of rules and regulations uh, exist on the web, you know, which uh, have been provided by many organizations uh, around the globe, like HTTP protocol, SMTP protocol, FTP protocol, etc. Now, what set of rules and regulations uh, softwares on the web are going to follow while having communication between them? That depends on what kind of softwares are communicating with each other. The kind of software we are talking about in this series, you know, websites, web application. In this case, web server program and browser basically follow HTTP protocol. So both follow HTTP set of rules and regulations. And why they follow these are rules and regulations? Just to have effective communication between each other and that's all about it. Because in this tutorial, my main aim was to just introduce you with the what overall is HTTP protocol and not talking about what kind of rules and regulations come under it. In the subsequent tutorial, well, I would uh, develop a servlet application. I would talk about these uh, set of rules and regulations in detail. All right. In the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to integrate Tomcat Apache server with the project structure which we configured within the Eclipse ID in the last tutorial. Guys, a big thank you for learning servlet application development with me. If you have any feedback or any constructive comment or you want me to upload any specific topic in this series, do post me a comment down the video or write to me on this email ID for all of your queries. Please like this video, share this video if it has uh, really proved useful to you and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Gone to Series and I'm going to catch you in the next part of this tutorial.